And now with us to discuss Ted Malachy, CEO of Global Fiduciary Governance, also author of the new author of the new book, The Plot to Destroy Trump. Ted, uh, let me have your initial reactions on this breaking news. Well, on the, on the one hand, you have a surprise announcement. I don't think anyone expected her to leave this soon. I mean, people don't stay in these offices for years and years. On the other hand, uh, I'm, I'm not entirely surprised. I mean, Nikki, Nikki Haley is a lovely person. She's a good worker. She's done an excellent job, as the president has said, in the post. But she was really a never-Trumper. She wasn't really fully on the, uh, I would say, the Trumpist uh, bandwagon. And uh, the fact that she's uh, stepping out, you know, uh, is, is Are you is suggesting that had surprising. something to do with her leaving the job, though, Ted? I'm not sure that it had anything to do with her leaving the job. I think she's just tired of, of, of doing it. There is a theory already on the Internet that's going around suggesting that uh, Lindsey Graham, the other senator from South Carolina, will step in as attorney general after the midterms, and the governor of South Carolina will appoint Nikki Haley to be then the senator from South Carolina. I can't say there's any cre uh, credibility to that, but it doesn't seem that far-fetched. It doesn't. I, I saw the same thing, too, as, they, as we were watching that feed, but it would be ironic. Uh, because uh, many consider him a never Trumper as well, so uh, maybe it goes full circle. Well, I, think, I think he, I think he proved his value last week. Yeah, uh, and, and you know it's interesting because so did Nikki Haley, right? I mean, she did an enormous, she did an, a great, a great job. We can't, I don't think we can under underscore uh, or under uh, underappreciate what she did there because I'd given up on the United Nations. I really did. I, I just thought it was this, you know, this building taking up a lot of valuable space in New York City where people didn't pay their parking tickets. And she re-elevated the role in how important it was to get things done on the global stage. Well, she has done a very good job, particularly in the Security Council, where she's taken America first, a kind of principled realism to the world. Uh, Trump has pounded the UN. You saw his speech just the other week. I wrote about it in Gateway Pundit. It was a fantastic speech. He's talked repeatedly about sovereignty, bringing back this notion of patriotism. Uh, it's not always popular in such a globalist institution uh, where multilateralism and world government reign supreme. But uh, I think the team, uh, Trump uh, team of uh, Haley and Trump, has done a very credible job at the UN during this short period. Uh, let's talk a little bit about this the globalism uh, versus Trumpism, if you will. Uh, uh, certainly it feels like Trumpism and the things that have driven it in this country, also driving policy and politics around the world. Uh, is globalism waning? Is it losing? Well, it's like standing at the beach and watching the tide to go out. Uh, globalism is on that ebb flow. And uh, when you take the 30,000 foot uh, view, which some of us more academic types do occasionally, and you look at world history in the context, you see a very, very big sea change taking place. Uh, Trumpism or sovereignty, patriotism is really uh, coming not to fruition just in the United States, but obviously in the United Kingdom. Behind me here, we have Brexit. You see what's happening in Italy and other European countries. You had the uh, election in Brazil over the weekend. I, I think you're seeing this kind of economic populism, a movement to the right, uh, as a worldwide phenomenon. And that's because globalization has not produced the economic benefits that we were told for the last couple decades it would produce. Ted, we've got less than a minute. Uh, what the globalists, uh, I mean, it's, it's a trillion dollar enterprise. They, they, they control everything from the media to banking. They're not going to go, go out without a fight. Uh, do, what do they do to push back against this? Well, you see Soros and people of that sort, Sire and others in the United States. I would say the entire uh, left-leaning part of the Democratic Party, who is very globalist, uh, multicultural, multilateralists really wants a kind of democratic socialism. They're not. They're not going to just stand by idly as uh, as Trump rushes in. Uh, they're going to contest uh, all these elections coming up in the midterms. They're going to take on all of our candidates. I suspect whoever Trump uh, actually appoints to be uh, his next ambassador in the United Nations right. will find a real contest when he or she goes to be confirmed Absolutely. in the U.S. Senate. Ted Malik, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. You know, guys, before the uh, Nikki Haley news, uh, we thought the biggest headline.